Russia welcome back number 10, Majewski, their captain. He was sent off against Paraguay and missed the last game against Argentina. Cirillo, who was born in Brazil, is struggling with an injury and I've been told he won't play a particular significant part in this game. The other Brazilian in the Russian team is number 7, Pula. Brazil was still without Beto, who picked up a two-match ban for his part in a half-time fight against Italy, but he could well be back for the final. This is Brazil's usual starting in five. Schumacher was rested for the last game. It's Brazil ranked one in the world against Russia in the semi-finals of the FIFA Futsal World Cup. minutes per half clock stopped as soon as the ball has gone dead 11 here is Marquinho Marquinho the oldest member of the squad at 34 but playing in his first FIFA Futsal World Cup Marquinho being brought here by Majewski kick in goes to Russia Pula the Brazilian born player in the Russian team Comes up. And Pula. Tackled by Schumacher. He seemed to, seemed to take a heavy fall then. Marquinho. It's real shot in anger by Lenicio. It's winded the goalkeeper. Probably spot where that hit Zuyev. It's going to be pretty painful. Schumacher really has been a major force for Brazil at these championships. Marquinhos. Schumacher. Pula. Cobza. Pula. Shielding the ball well there from Gabriel. He opened the scoring against Russia in the group game and he's pretty close to doing so again here. A sense of the complete domination of Russia had in the last game. This is a very different match for them. No foul. Gabriel and Schumacher. Well, this is a controversial incident because Russia were looking for the free kick. Gabriel won the ball. Whether he won it fairly or not is open to debate. Once he passed the ball to Schumacher, it was only a matter of seconds before the ball was dispatched into the goal. And Schumacher, who scored against Russia, the opening goal in the group game, has done it again in the semi final. is Ari, who was suffering from a hip injury. Brazil just beginning to settle down after taking the lead here. Vinicius. Fine stop by the goalkeeper, Thiago. That was moving wide, you can see from that slow motion replay. Vinicius. Falcao. Hasn't really turned on the tricks and flicks yet. Here he comes. Ooh, the ball given away here. Falcao. He 
can't give the ball to Falcao there. He now becomes the joint top goal scorer at this competition with his 15th goal. Ball given away cheaply to Vinicius, and Vinicius picked out Falcao, and Falcao picked out the goal. Brazil lead by two goals to nil. The country that really pushed Brazil hardest were Iran, who have been eliminated from the competition. Here's Hamadiev. Hamadiev, who scored five goals against the Solomon Islands and also three against Japan. Can't add to his total. As he's off, pops up. Majewski. And it lands here for Schumacher. Lenicio. Schumacher, 7.32 left on the clock in this first period. Lenicio, once again. Lenicio scored in all but one game here in the FIFA Futsal World Cup. As he's off. Pula. Oh, yes, Russia have found a goal. It's the Brazilian in the Russian team who's pulled Russia back. The man who scored a hat trick of hat tricks against the Solomon Islands. Brazil's two goal advantage. <laughs> Simple header by Vinicius. It didn't take Brazil long. He's off. Pull that. Russia have another Brazilian player in their squad called Cyrilo, but he's not fit enough to be involved so far. The coach told me he might play for maybe one minute, that's all. One or two minutes of this match. DF. Russia are back in it again. Brazil just seemed to be distracted for a moment there. And Damir Hamadiev had the court at his mercy and the Brazilian defence at his mercy. And he didn't need any second invitation to score. Goalkeeper. There haven't been many. Russia trying to get through the next few minutes without conceding a goal. Falcao. Oh, that's a lovely 
save. Good instinctive reaction save then from the goalkeeper, Zuyev. Oh, great chance there for Abby. Brush the side netting. Falcao. Carlinhos, Falcao. Yeah, yeah. Been an outrageous goal, had it gone in. Dushkevich. No foul here. And somehow Brazil miss. Pula can't get there. Brazil should have wrapped it up there. Lenisio again, it's been blocked. It's one against three for Russia here. Shevastia, oh, he slammed the ball against the upright. Kamadiev with what was surely an easy tap in has let Brazil right off the hook. And they've run it back here with Lenisio. It's there. Gabriel surely sends Brazil to the final. Lenicio won the ball, and Gabriel didn't need to be invited twice. After having seen Russia almost equalise, Brazil have made it 4-2 now. It could have been so, so different had Russia scored when they had their chance. Disappointment for Russia, who go to the third and fourth place playoff game. Brazil go to the final, where they call meet either Spain or Italy. The full-time score of this semi-final is Russia 2, Brazil 4.